Hello to you all my dear friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about a short story written by Theodore Francis Powys titled Lie the Down Oddity. Now Theodore Francis Powys, let me tell you, is a very famous British novelist and short story writer who is best remembered for his allegorical novel Mr. Winston's Good Wine. It was published in 1927. In this video, we are going to talk about one of his best short stories according to me and that is Lie the Down Oddity. Now, of course, I am not going to narrate the entire short story to you, but you can read this short story through the link in the description. You know, you can find this short story on my blog webpage, The Nathaniel. And I request you all to please read this short story on your own because it is not wise to narrate a short story. It's always, it's always better to read a short story on your own. So please read this short story. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick review of the short story, my opinion about the short story. So lie the down oddity, let me tell you about the title first. The title of this story in itself is very confusing because oddity actually means a person with strange habits or strange qualities. So a person who commits strange acts, unusual acts can be considered as oddity. Something or somebody which commits a strange act, so something or somebody who is strange can be considered as an oddity. So in this short story, you will find a character who can be regarded as an oddity, but still the title of the story is not clear, Lie the Down Oddity. It can have many interpretations, so in a way the title of the story is a bit confusing. Then the language of the short story, the creative writing that has been used, the richness of the English literature that has been used, it has really impressed me. Mr. T. F. Powys was a a writer of the modern English literature and therefore you will get a glimpse of what it means to read the modern English literature in this short story and I really like the way how the plot of the story has been described, the characters have been described, the scenes have been set, so everything is in detail, everything is with the finest perfection they have been portrayed and I really like the way how they have been described in the story. So in terms of language, in terms of its plots, description, everything, the story is wonderful. Title is a bit confusing and so there can be many interpretations of the story as well. But it's always good for a short story to have many interpretations. That's the quality of a good short story according to me. Then the end of the story is quite obvious but it is open for the readers to draw conclusion. I believe that a short story is indeed a short story when it has an open end to it. And this short story has not disappointed me in having an open end. Although the end is quite obvious, quite plain, but still I like the way how the author has ended the story. Now, I believe that there is a hidden message in the story as well because, you know, as you know that uh, Mr. Powys was very famous for his allegorical novel and I believe that this short story has some allegory as well in it. And, but I was not able to know what, what, what hidden message is in the story. So you can tell me what have you got from this story, what interpretations do you think this story can have. You can all comment this in the comment section and I encourage you all to read this short story so that we can talk about this short story in the comment section. So I leave you with this short story and I will see you in the next video. So till then, goodbye and thank you very much.